Now that you have learned how to create nodes and relationships and update properties in this lesson, you will learn how to conditionally create or update nodes with the merge clause, as well as some special considerations about creating relationships with merge. In this example, what the merge clause does is it looks for the person node with the name property of Robin Williams. If the node is found, nothing is updated in the graph. But if we add this conditional on match to the merge clause, the graph engine will find the node and set the died property for this node. And here is a result where the new property has been added. In addition to the on match condition, you can also create additional properties when the node is created. Recall that inline in the merge clause, we specify the primary key for the node, which is title. If we want to add more properties to the node when it is created, we can use the onCreate condition as shown here. Suppose there is no node for the Freaky movie in our graph. When this code executes, it creates the node and sets the released property. So now we have this node in the graph and we execute the same code. It will find the node in the graph and add the revenue property to the node. Now let's look at merge processing in action. Here is a merge clause that creates the McKenna Grace node. The first time the node is created, the created at property is set. In addition, the born property is set. Let's run this code. We see that the node is created and has three properties, name, created at, and born. Before we run this code again, let's modify the born value so that we can see its effect in the graph when the node is updated. Here is the result. We see that the updated at property has been set and a new value has been updated for the born property. If we were to run this code again without changing anything, we would see that the updated at value has been changed again. Another thing that you should be mindful of when creating a relationship is that you can get into trouble if you do too much in a single merge clause. Here is an example where we want to ensure that this pattern is in the graph. Our graph already has a node for Michael Caine, but there is no node for the movie The Cider House Rules. Let's run this code. Here we see an error. What the graph engine did was it found the Michael Caine node, then it expanded the acted in relationships from that node to find that there is no movie node. It then attempted to create the entire pattern, but it failed because the Michael Caine node already exists. A best practice is to separate the creation of the nodes from the creation of the relationships. This code will work. It finds the Michael Caine node, creates the movie node, and then creates the relationship between them. In the next challenge, you will conditionally update a node using the merge clause. This concludes our look at how to conditionally create or update nodes in the merge clause, as well as some special considerations about creating relationships with merge.